Weekly Female Humanoid Robot News Technology and robotics are advancing at a never-before pace. We doubt our ancestors could imagine fully humanoid robots walking amongst us, but it has happened. Let's take a look at the latest humanoid robot news. Tesla's humanoid robot prototype ready soon? Elon Musk announced that Tesla might have a working prototype of TeslaBot, also known as Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot by September 30, the end of the third quarter of 2022. Last month, Musk announced Tesla AI Day 2 with many cool updates on August 19. The original Tesla AI Day held last year was an event focused on the company's self-driving program. The automaker also unveiled its Dojo supercomputer and announced plans for the TeslaBot humanoid robot, now known as Tesla Optimus. The AI Day No. 2 was supposed to be held a year to the day after the first one, but Musk took to Twitter to delay the event to September 30. As a reason for the delay, the CEO said that Tesla may have a working prototype of Optimus by then. When first announcing the project last year, Musk said that Tesla would have a working prototype by the end of 2022. And recently, the CEO even said that the company aims to start production of the robot in 2023. This is an extremely ambitious timeline for such an ambitious project, but Musk said on several occasions that it has become a priority. In January, the CEO said that Tesla is prioritizing product development of the Optimus humanoid robot in 2022 over other products. Tesla plans to leverage its existing expertise in power electronics and batteries for electric vehicles to build the robot and use its AI expertise to give it a brain. Australian man wants to marry robot. Jeff Gallagher, who lives in Queensland, Australia, has fallen in love with his humanoid robot, Emma, and now the man cannot imagine his life without her. His love has now progressed to the point where the man is willing to marry the robot. Jeff Gallagher's mother, who lived in Queensland, Australia, passed away 10 years ago. Since then, he has shared his home with his pet dog, Penny. Jeff also turned to artificial intelligence to deal with his loneliness. However, he had no clue that his relationship with the machine would transform into an emotional one. To cope with loneliness, Jeff Gallagher purchased a robot a few years ago. He conducted extensive market research before picking a humanoid robot to accompany him. The name of the robot was Emma, and she had human-like blue eyes and wheatish skin. The robot became Jeff's companion in September 2019. The head of the robot can be assembled and it wears a white dress and can also communicate. Although the robot is unable to stand by itself, Jeff frequently takes her out in his car. A smartphone-like screen at the back of Emma's head controls the language. Emma is powered by AI and is becoming smarter every passing day. The humanoid robot has become an important part of Jeff's life in the last two years, according to him. He has a unique relationship with Emma, and she stays with him all the time. Surprisingly, he considers Emma his wife, who also wears a ring on her finger. This, even though they are not married. Jeff hopes to be the first person in Australia to marry a robot one day. He believes that by sharing his story, others will be inspired to have robotic companions as well. Cat Doll Uses Advanced AI In a time where humans are attempting to marry robots, it was only a matter of time before advanced dolls became, well, even more advanced. That feature is now present, with Lily Delta V7, a robot cat girl designed for human-like activities. Canadian startup Lilium Robotics has announced plans to merge artificial intelligence with toys. Powered by an Amlogic A311D logic board, the Lily Delta V7 robot combines a fully motorized robotic body with advanced AI. The horrendously creepy anime-ish robot cat girl is seen as the most advanced robot designed for such use. Lily has fully motorized arms, legs, and torso that can support a 0.5 kilogram payload. While that may be impressive, the more intriguing part for Stealth Optional is its integration of GPT-3 AI for AI-accelerated object detection and tracking. Instead of being just a mere doll, this is a special doll with intelligence, making the entire situation even more uncomfortable for some. Using GPT-3, the robot cat girl is able to hold a conversation with its owner, track a person's face, read audiobooks, and more. While the Lily Delta V7 may be an advanced AI-powered bot for those that want it, it's not exactly Boston Dynamics' level of robotic ingenuity. For example, it doesn't have the power to walk. Instead, the robot just sits on a chair, desk, or, if the owner is embarrassed, in a dark closet. 
So, while the $400 toy may be impressively made, it still can't do a sick backflip. Boston Dynamics 1, Lilium Robotics 0 Sarah Wenger awarded fellowship for work on humanoid ethics. Is it possible to have a loving relationship with a robot? Is a machine capable of giving consent? And how do gender dynamics play out among beings made of metal and silicone? These are questions that scholars and tech companies alike are increasingly asking as humanoid robots make the jump from science fiction to reality. They're also the kind of questions that Virginia Tech doctoral student Sarah Wenger is examining in her dissertation, Synthetic Women, Gender, Power, and Humanoid Robots. I really want to get to the bottom of these emerging humanoid technologies, Wenger said, because they embody so much. Our dreams, our fears, our desires, our anxieties. For that project, the American Council of Learned Societies has awarded Wenger an Andrew W. Mellon ACLS Dissertation Completion Fellowship. These prestigious fellowships support PhD candidates in the humanities and social sciences in their final year of dissertation writing. Introducing the first flying humanoid robot The Iron Club humanoid robot might be the first real like Iron Man we will witness. When we think of robots, we generally think of industrial robots in factories, putting hard labor to complete tasks that humans cannot. But robots are not just science fiction movies anymore. The humanoid robot Sophia is considered in such high regard that Saudi Arabia provided citizenship to her. Robots that are integrated with technologies like artificial intelligence, cybernetics, cognitive development, and neuroscience can perform multiple tasks at the same time, like plan, think, work, analyze, walk, and now, apparently, fly. Researchers at the Italian Institute of Technology have recently been exploring the possibilities of creating a humanoid robot that can fly. But researchers need systems that can reliably estimate the intensity of the thrust produced by the propellers to effectively control the movements of flying robots. But these Italian researchers have come close to building a robot that can fly. Iron Cub has been developed by eminent researchers, which took them almost five years to build. The idea behind this robot was to install jet engines on its hands and feet to make the humanoid robot fly. The two jet engines are set on the back of the robot, and two jet engines are on the forearms. Iron Cub is also carrying a pair of metallic pants, which are originally heat-resistant material to secure the robot from the jet engine's fire. The updated version of the robot will also have a flame-protective covering on its legs and feet. For the moment, the project is at its initial phase. The researchers have developed a control algorithm to simulate the movement of the robot with the jet engines installed on the hands and feet. Next, they are considering including the aerodynamic effects and other parameters and technologies that will improve its flight. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.